Hi everybody, a very warm welcome to a hastily arranged live show here on ABTV on YouTube. So Aberdeen have just beaten Kilmarnock to reach the Scottish Cup semi-final. We go into the draw for that draw. We go into the hat for the draw on Monday night after the Morton Hearts game. But quite unbelievably, moments after we beat Kilmarnock, Neil Warnock comes out in the press and said he's leaving. So Neil Warnock has stepped aside. Peter Levin has gone back in interim charge. And the chairman has come out and made a statement. So what I'll do is just let me read the statement first of all and we, we can react to that. So look, get in touch, leave your comments below the video. Um, I'm going to just get straight into it because I've got nothing lined up. As I said, I've just come off the cuff straight from the big Saturday football show and we're just going to get straight into it and discuss it with you, the fans. So leave your comments below. Uh, just remember, leave your comments without using swear words and try and be as respectful as you possibly can, particularly with each other if you're going to interact with each other. That'd be great. Right, so first and foremost, Dave Cormack has said, with the search for a new manager at an advanced stage, Peter Levin will assume control of all first team matters until the process is concluded. So Neil Warnock came out and has just said that there was a conversation in midweek that today was going to be the day that he was going to step down. So what I'm really hoping is that this advanced stage actually means that they've agreed terms with whoever is going to come in and they're going to come in imminently because surely we cannot jump from interim manager to interim manager at a very crucial stage of the season. Surely that is not going to happen. Um, the response has been absolutely unbelievable. Um, just let me... I'll read a couple of things that Neil Warnock has said. So just let me find um, what he's been saying, because he has spoken to the press in only the past few minutes. So he said, um, I've told them they need to get a manager in to look at the squad because I think it needs quite an overhaul in the, in the summer. He went on to say, if anything, I've contributed to making them realise and get a move on. They're very close down the line to get someone in now. Um, okay, so he said that. Um, he also said, I only came up to help Dave and Alan out and try to steady the ship. Unfortunately, we haven't got the right results in the league. They're well on their way to getting a new manager. I've been telling them they have to push forward now. I thought it was the right time. He finished off by saying and, and um, a, just confirming about the meeting that they had in midweek. We decided in midweek that today was going to be the day. I'm glad I left on a high because the lads were fantastic today. I was quite proud of them. Um, let me find... There was a couple of other things that came in. I just want to find them for you. Um, you know, Michael Stewart, BBC Pundit, has said it's a terrible look for Aberdeen. This will cast even more doubt over people who wanted the job. It will plant serious doubts in their mind. Billy Dodd said, is this what Scottish football has become? It's not a good look for our game. He's got a chance of silverware. He loves getting a pat on the back for saving clubs. He's not done that here. Um... I think Willie Miller came out and said something. So just let me find what Willie has said as well. Uh, I can't quite find it at the moment. Ah, let me see if it's there. Ah, here it is. So he said, it's hard to believe that this is happening. It's a nightmare situation. You appoint a manager for a short period of time and he's walked away from the job. The performances have been poor, but they have been improving. You're into the semi-finals, so I just wonder what has gone on. Yeah. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm absolutely at a loss. Let me see if there's anything else in terms of speaking to the press, if Neil Warnock has said anything else to the press. So just bear with me. This show is live. So I'm just literally acting off the cuff. I will get to some of your points in just a moment. 
Uh, a lot of pundits are absolutely scathing about what's going on. Okay, so Willie Miller has gone on to say, listening to what I've just heard there, that he's turned this club around in a short time. He's got them to a semi-final. He set standards. The players now know the level that they have got to get to. It's quite incredible to listen to. Been some good, been some bad. Mostly bad. It's no accident that Dave Cormack is over, as in he's over in Aberdeen at the moment. So that's what Willie Miller has just recently had to say on BBC. Um, right, just let me... Uh, I just want to open a couple of things up because obviously I want to get to you guys. So... Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, hang on guys, just bear with me. As I said, this is totally off the cuff today. Um, right, let me bring up your YouTube comments. So bear with me just while I open YouTube. There it is. Okay, one moment guys. I'm just looking for your comments at the moment. View your channel, there we are. Uh, Neil Warnock gone, let me click on the live. Um, okay, just let me pause that. There we are. And I'll just minimize that as well. There we go. Okay, so let's start coming down to your comments. Oh my goodness. There are so many comments coming already. Wow. Okay, let's just try and get through some of these. Um, David Gold has said, Good evening, Dandies. Great win today. Shocked everyone on the bus when I announced Warnock is gone. It's almost certainly Lennon in coming. I, I, I have a feeling, I, I look, it's just a personal feeling and I genuinely don't know if it is or it isn't, but I don't think it will be Neil Lennon. I just have a feeling. Um, I could be completely wrong, of course, but I just don't think it will be. Because why would he come out and say in the press in midweek that, and it was in midweek, remember, that he's interested in the job because if the club had held talks, and I don't know whether they have or whether they haven't, um, is why would you come out and say something if you know that you're going, you're just about to become the new manager? I just don't think that's the way it works. So that's why I just don't think it is, it is Neil Lennon. Um, Fraser Gunn, you know, being very positive about today's result, a win, what a feeling, the Scottish Cup is coming to Pataudry. Laurel 101 said, best performance for ages, should be on a high, then one it goes, always pushed. Bob Dove said, if it's Neil Lennon, I'm done with AFC. Um, Gordon Keith Ritchie said, it's a very strange football monitoring board move, must have something up their sleeve. Come on, your Reds. Uh, Duncan Shan said, great win, but glad the Warnock Circus is over. John Kilo has just said, BBC Pundit's an absolute meltdown, which I've just read out for you. Neil MacDonald has said, this is unbelievable. Grey Pilgrim has said, broad news about Warnock. He thought he would be an easy hero, but didn't know what he was getting into. Goodbye. David Innes has said, baffling, almost as baffling as Shinny's booking by uh, the referee today. Kenny McDonald said, one minute I'm watching the highlights of Warnock celebrating our win against Killy. The next minute he's left. What on earth is going on at Aberdeen? Archie has said, this could be calamitous. Really worried for what's going to come next. Mark Smith said, happy days, great performance, great result and Warnock gone. What a great day. Large champagne bottle, please. Neil Lennon, he also says, please. Chris Bruce said, I'm gobsmacked, was on a high. I so wanted Warnock to win as the cup. What a joke. Paul Wood said, maybe this is why we played better today. <laughs> Which, to be fair, we did. Um, so obviously he made two changes to the team. Um, Jack McKenzie and Jamie McGrath came in for Richard Jensen and Duke. Um, you know, Jamie McGrath... With a brace, okay, helped with a deflection of the third goal. Graham Shinney with an absolute pelter. Wasn't it a great hit? Again, with a slight deflection. But I have to say, I thought Jack McKenzie today was absolutely phenomenal. 
Um, I think it's his best game in an Aberdeen shirt. I just thought the guy was just immense, absolutely immense today. And I absolutely tip my hat to him. Um, okay, just let me see. Okay, let me revert back to uh, the BBC and see if anything else has happened there. So just bear with me, guys. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of radio silence here and there. I just want to just check and see what's going on. Okay, so nothing at the moment that I can see. So we'll just keep an eye on everything. Just let me go back to Aberdeen's uh, website. Let me see if there's been any updates on the website. Uh, Neil Warnock added... I was honoured to lead Aberdeen for a short period to help Dave and the board get themselves into a position where they could get closer to making a permanent appointment. It goes without saying that I had hoped I could have collected a few more league wins along the way, but I'm also delighted to have helped the club into the Scottish Cup semi-final. I hope they can now go on and lift the trophy. Um, can't thank the fans enough for their support while we've been here and we wish the club and the supporters all the very best for the remainder of the season and the future. Uh, okay. Uh, again, bear with me. Just let me go to the home page and see if there is anything added. Not that I can see. Okay. No, it's still the same. Let's go back to the BBC. But not nothing there. Okay, let me just minimise that and get back to your comments. Uh, okay, where's YouTube? There we are. Okay. Uh, Chris Bruce said, I'm gobsmacked. I was on a high. I so wanted Warnick to win as the cup. What a joke. Uh, oh, sorry, I think I've read that one out. Susan Casey said, bit shocked that he's gone, but must mean new manager is incoming. Whoever it is that comes in, everyone needs to get behind the new manager, even if you disagree with the appointment. That already from just the comments that are coming in, um, it is very split, the opinion about Neil Lennon. Uh, John Kahlo said, Warnock obviously lost interest with the imbalance in the squad. Andrew said, quite surprised at the announcement. Sounds like new manager will be in soon. I actually agree with giving the new guy time to assess the squad. That's sensible. Bob Dove said, I think Warnock walked. I don't think he was sacked. Now, if he's walked, he will tell all, no non-disclosure agreement. Mark Cowson has said, our CEO was showing our new manager around Cormac Park last week. The deal must be done. Okay. So do we know who that is, Mark? Andrew Jenkins has said, only Aberdeen, not convinced Warnock was the right choice all along. One good result, not good enough. Looks like the players have stepped up and taken control themselves. Good display today. So a lot of you are saying, you know, was he sacked? Did he walk? We need a little bit more clarification. I, I agree. I think um, we do need more clarification on this. Did he decide to leave? Or because... You see, I, I just, it, to me, it's just all very strange. It's all very, very strange. I don't know what to think. I have to be honest. Rory, Rory Stewart says, sounds like a mutual agreement. Yeah, it could well be, Rory. Jack Bruce said, don't care who comes in as long as we don't get relegated. Neil McDonald said, whatever, the lad showed fight today. Still a bit of fragility at the back. Uh, Bryn B said, didn't like how Warnock kept saying Aberdeen were poor today or they were poor today, like he wasn't even connecting himself with the club. Yeah, there's been uh, a lot of folk have mentioned that and a lot of folk have spoken about that, um, that usually you say we or us, but he always spoke about us in the third party, didn't he? Jude said, it was a great performance today. First time I've clapped them off the park in a long time. Gutted about Shinny being out of the semi. Yeah, picked up that, that booking today for dissent. <sighs> so frustrating. Um, Rory Stewart said, he's not walked away. 
It's a mutual agreement. Thanks, Rory. Okay, so apparently he's just done an, an interview on Red TV. So, we'll, let me see if that's popped up on Twitter yet. Or X. Um, actually, while I'm here, I might as well read out some of the comments that have come in on X. Tina said, most bizarre season ever. Michael Scott said, don't know if I should laugh or cry. Imagine if we were one of those teams that won every week without something unexpected happening. It would be really boring. With Aberdeen, we are constantly on our toes and have no clue what might happen next. A real roller coaster. Um, again, a lot of you are convinced it's going to be Neil Lennon. Okay, that appears to be... Right, I just want to have a quick flick. Again, guys, this is a live show, so I'm just literally reacting to anything and everything that comes in. Uh, right. So he spoke to Red TV uh, 15 minutes ago. Now, unfortunately, um, I, I can't play this because I will be in copyright. Uh, I will have copyright issues, so I can't play it to you. Um... Uh, what I would like to know is, okay, just let me see what. Yeah. So basically, all I can do is I can just report on what some of the, the comments are about what he said. He said that the new manager needs time with the players and recruitment in summer has to be big. Okay. Um, hopefully there'll be a transcription of that very shortly, which will pop. Uh, in fact, let me have a quick look to see if it has come up on Aberdeen's internet site yet. Uh, not yet. Let me go back to the BBC to see if they're reporting on anything else. It doesn't look like they are. Sorry, guys, again, just bear with me. This is a live show. I'm reacting just as much as you are. Okay, all right. Hopefully, the transcription of Neil Warnock's interview will come in very soon, so we'll get to that. Uh, Bob Dove said, great performance today as well. He went on to say, was looking, was looking forward to the Dundee game. Baz Strachan has said, just hope he hasn't taken Hoylet with him as he's been decent and can see a bit of quality in the boy. But a fight today was good to see, but still that fragile defending at times, yeah. It's the only thing that worries me is just how poor we are at the back sometimes. Again, it was another mistake that led to the goal. But overall, I thought we matched them physically today, which we've not done in the previous three games. So uh, it, for me, it was a vastly improved performance against them. Uh, folk asking me, do you think Aberdeen will get relegated? No, I don't. I really don't. I think it's... <laughs> It's going to get. It's going to be a bit scary, but I don't think we will. Um, Andrew Jenkins has said we were at we were at that standard previously. Let Shinza take charge. Defense still needs work. Looked vulnerable at a few times today. Shinny and Mackenzie and McGrath, excellent. Yeah, I agree with that. As Goose Score has said, Warnick says close to the new manager. He has pushed the club into getting him in now. Sounds like it's Warnock who pulled the trigger. Scott Roberts has said. Uh, the new guy must be getting announced later today or this makes no sense whatsoever. Great performance today. Matt Carl says, say, say this every time we're looking for a new manager, but really hope it's someone from out with the Scottish football ecosystem. I agree. Gordon Keith Ritchie, hopefully it's Mr. Klopp. <laughs> That'd be nice. 
Skuska went on to say uh, that Neil Warnock says new manager needs to come in now to have a look at it and sort out the mess. He's been quite scathing, hasn't he? Which actually is, to be honest, is not such a bad thing. J. Mack has said, this season has been a shambles. Please no to Neil Lennon. Uninspiring, tactically inept, and a lazy appointment. If so, where are we as a club going? David Gold on the performance today. Brilliant performance today. Shinny, McKenzie, McGran, Hoyler, all fantastic. Jack gets my man of the match. Uh, hang on a second, guys. Just need to take this. Um, there was something that uh, I, I tell you what I'll, I'll come back to it I'll come back to it John Moore said Jack and Bojan only ones with pass marks this season Devlin started well too but hasn't been great Chris Bruce is asking, could it be McLeish? I'm not sure. Chris Clark said, hi everyone, great result today, some great performances. Mackenzie and Phillips stood out for me, not one poor performer. The breaking news about Warnock, wow, did not see that coming, strange. Ewan Grant said, blimey, this is so weird, must be something cooking behind the scenes. Fans of other clubs coming on. How bizarre. Why would you come on to a a football club YouTube site of a club you do not support? Bizarre. Uh, Chris, Bro Chris Bruce said, Hoylet was immense, his only signing. Imagine if Warnock got a transfer window. Yeah. Okay, thank you for letting me know about the Neil Warnock interview. That's great. Kevin Main said, I'd like the board to be ambitious and go for someone like Ollie Gonna Solskjaer. Dave B said, he's bound to say the club needs an overhaul, otherwise it reflects badly on him. He can hardly say the team's full of great players as he's admitting he failed as a manager. That's a very good point. Stuart Malcolm said, this turning out to be a total farce of a season, a complete laughing stock. Kenneth McPherson says, seem things are moving quickly and his body language was maybe underwhelming. The musical box has said, unusual way to do things. Keep Warnick while we play really badly. Then he leaves as soon as he gets our first win in a while. Charlie Ross is here. Hi, Charlie. I got your email. Thank you, mate. I will come back to you. We knew he was going to go, just maybe not so quick, especially after a win. But it's obviously Lennon after his comments in the week. If it's if it stand by him, stand free. Um, Martin Smith said, saw some fight today, which was good. But why take Warnock on saying for rest of season, and then he and then he doesn't? Bizarre and unusual lack of cohesion in the board's decision making. Ian Thompson said, I would like to think that AFC and Warnock have parted in an amicable manner. You manager must be imminent. John Kylo has suggested the St. Mirren result knocked it out of him. He said, life low point on his own in rented flat. Lorraine Baxter, hi Lorraine. She says, really concerning the state that the club is in. John Dorwood is suggesting that the fans hounded Warnock out. He didn't need this and walked. Pretty clear. Always said it wasn't his team. Rod Cow said, well done to Jack McKenzie for dealing with Danny Armstrong. That boy's a handful. Yeah, I agree. I, I, honestly, I thought he was fantastic today. Mark Cowison said, when I saw him speak to Barron when... Connor came off. I wondered if it was a goodbye speech to him.
Robbie the Pict is suggesting get Strachan. Okay, just let me go back and see if there's any more updates for you. Okay, so Willie Miller has come back out and said, did, did Dave Cormack decide enough is enough? Is Dave Cormack that hot-headed that he just decided that enough is enough and wants to move on? He's now given the responsibility to somebody who does not want the responsibility. You see, again, that's a very interesting point because um, from what I understand, Peter Levin said that he did not want the job. Um, I don't know what else was said. Again, it's just hearsay, so please... Um, don't take it as gospel. It's just what I get told. And you know what it's like in football circles. Um, but Willie could be right. And probably is. I'm just flicking through the site at the moment just to see if there's anything else come on. Um, let me go back to Aberdeen's website and see if there's an update on there. Uh, not that I can see. Hang on a second. Just let me. Just let me open it up completely. No, the transcription is still not there. Okay. So I will try and get to that as soon as I can. Just let me see if any more of your comments have come in. Uh, thank you for bearing with me. Because uh, obviously today is a live show. Okay, I'll come back to your comments on YouTube in just a moment. Just let me open up X again and see if there's anything on there. No, it doesn't look like it. So in the past couple of minutes, Aberdeen Football Club have just put out a video of Neil Warnock walking around the pitch, clapping the fans. Okay. Just looking at some of what the journalists have said, just to see if there's something that we've missed. Most of them are all saying... You know the, the the key line is the new the search for the new manager is at an advanced stage. I, do you know I was going to come back to this? So, and I me I meant to I meant to say it last week and it completely slipped my mind. So did any of you notice that during the St Mirren game, Michael O'Neill was in the stands watching? Now he could have been scouting but I'm not sure um, could he have been a guest of St Mirren of course he had a loan spell at Aberdeen didn't he um, I actually know Michael quite well I might be tempted to just give him a wee text um, sorry that was name dropping there I didn't mean to name drop I got to know him um, when he used to come over to Qatar when I worked for BN Sports he was a regular guest on the show and I'm sure you know if you've seen my silly videos that I made with uh, with you know, football celebrities, Michael was one of them. Um, so am I reading something into something that could be nothing? I don't know. But Michael Michael O'Neill was there. Uh, right, let me get back to your comments. Okay. Okay, Malcolm Parker said, uh, just spoke to Burroughs and Chris Harvey both say 100% it's not Neil Lennon. Okay. Chris Bruce has said, I'm in Bali watching your live show, Ali. You're a legend for jumping on and doing this. I'm managing to keep up with the goss. Good lad. Bali, what a place. What a place. If you ever get a chance to go to Bali, go to Bali. Deary, deary me. What a place. Okay, so lots more comments coming in. Let's get through them. Uh, Chris Bruce said, at the end of the day, we're in the semis, the way our season has been. How good is that? Absolutely. Uh, Mark Leslie has said, not being any real rumours on a new manager, not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. 
Just let me drag this over. Um, the musical box said, I thought Peter Levin did the wait and see when he was interim before. I don't remember saying he didn't want it. Yeah, I just, I, I, can't, I can't quite remember where that came from, whether somebody told me or whether I read somewhere that um, he wasn't, and again, I don't know the context of it. So um, look, it's just gossip. That's all I can say. It's just gossip. Um, we like a bit of gossip, don't we? <laughs> James McGaskill has said, hi, James, how are you, fella? Uh, where are you? Neil Warnock's appointment seems to have been pointless. Patience should have been shown to get the next permanent manager in. Jim Balfour is on. Hi, Jim. Michael Stewart on Radio Scotland was livid about the shambles at board level. Willie Miller just dumbfounded. Stuart Cleary has said, would McLeish, would like McLeish to come in and strike in as director of football, but he did say he didn't want to be our manager in November. John Dorwood has said, someone like Michael O'Neill would be a great shout. Jimmy Duff said, was Infantino not at St Mirren that day? He was. Does that mean it could be him? <laughs> <laughs> like what you did. Uh... I think that's Mark E. Clark. One today, hopefully another final. Looking good, two finals in a bad season with managerial issues. John Moore has said, great news as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Ewan Grant said, O'Neill could have been scouting Boyd Monson, and McMenamin. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I was wondering why he was there. Just, you know, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there. Robbie the Pict, get the Gothenburg lads and they will sort them out. Charlie Ross, uh, in his interview on Red TV, he has stated that the team knew before the game. It also, it also stated that if we get to the final, he will be there to cheer us on. Deke Mackey has said, we are so much better with Big Angus in the team. Quickfire said, Don should go for Alex Neal, end of... John Dorwood said, Infantino, director of football, surely. <laughs> okay. Keep your comments coming in, guys. Look, you know, I'm, how long have we done? We've done just over half an hour. So look, we can keep going. Gregor Reed said, whoever it is, please no experiments. Angus at the back, 442. Oh. Let me go back. See if there's any more comments. Come on in here. Come on, refresh. There we go. No, nothing there. Yeah, again, it's just uh, X is just full of just the news that. Um, Neil Warnock has stepped down. Um, also, if you don't know, unfortunately, Graham Shinney is suspended for the semi-final after he got booked by John Beaton today for dissent. Uh, okay, let me check in here. So bear with me, guys. Um, okay, we've read all that out already, so I don't need to read that. Um, okay, so this is what he said to the press, Neil Warnock, on whether it was his decision to leave. He said, I think we just talked about it. It's always been a joint thing. It's one of those things. I've told them all along they have got to get a new manager in to give him six weeks, something like that, to look at the squad because I think the squad needs quite an overhaul in the summer. Um, he went on to say they have got a good nucleus of good players it's just they need four or five players at this level that we're talking about okay so just to confirm it looks like it was a mutual agreement that he stepped down after today's game yeah Okay, so not much else coming out. 
of the press. Just let me see if there's anything else. Okay, let me come back to your YouTube comments. Um, Derek Gibber said, keep that starting 11. Finally looks solid in midfield with Phillips. John Dorwood said, said it earlier, Ali, if it's someone who was already available when Robson sacked, why is it taking so long? Kevin Main said, if a new manager was getting announced next week, surely we wouldn't need to have an interim manager. The board is making the club a laughing stock. West Coast Dawn is asking what on earth is going on, or words to that effect. John Kylo come by about the players that we need. We need two wingers, a centre half, and a central midfielder. John Dorwood said, "Fair play to Neil if you're saying that. Sounds like he has Aberdeen's interest at heart, in spite of what of what fans think of him." Mark Cowison said, "Hope things went amicable with Warnock, as his contacts could be very good for player recruitment in the future." Uh, is it Deck Mackey or is it Deek Mackey? Uh, so has a new manager been sorted out already? Well, we don't know. All we can do is go with what the football club are telling us, fella, and that they're saying they're not that far away. Um, the musical boxer said it may have been mutual, but Warnick said he wasn't worried about hypotheticals. So just to reaffirm what Dave Cormack has said, if you're just joining us. So this is a live show um, off the back of today's kind of surprising news that Neil Warnock has left Aberdeen after his side beat Kilmarnock 2-1 in the Scottish Cup to progress to the semi-finals at Hamden. Not long after the game, um, the news broke that he has stepped aside and he's come out and given his reasons why. The chairman put a statement out on the club's website and he said, with the search for a new manager at an advanced stage, Peter Levin will assume control of all first team matters until the process is concluded. Uh, Neil basically reiterated his point that the decision was made midweek, that the players knew before today's game that he was leaving and that he, he said the club needs an overhaul that we need at least five new players. Um, just let me come back to, you know, the pundits on, on BBC Sport Sound, who, by the sound of it, are going absolutely mental. Uh, Michael Stewart said, Aberdeen should be making an appointment now, right now, as soon as Neil Warnock has left. There's been a lack of continuity for three years. The next appointment is so big for the club. Absolutely correct. Again, just bear with me because this is a live show. So I'm just literally looking through the websites and anything else to see if there's anything fresh, new, breaking that's happened. And as it stands, I can't see anything. Okay, just let me come back. Okay, so SITV said it's going to be Lennon, isn't it? Club is in absolute shambles and takes away from the win today. So I can tell you, um, SITV, that uh, Chris Harvey, STV sports reporter, spoke to Alan Burrows today and he said 100% it is not Neil Lennon. SITV just came back and said the pundits on the radio were going mental. Andrew Hall said chaos. Wasn't sure it was right fit from the start. We basically appointed him because of that interview he gave saying uh, that he once applied. Poor leadership, no plan, no clue. West Coast Dawn is asking, was Warnock really brought in as an advisor? Do you know, that's a question that I posed to Michael Grant a couple of weeks ago when I actually said, you know, did he come in as a manager or a consultant? Uh, John Dorwood said, thanks for doing the show, Ali. So good to have like-minded Don sharing chat on such important news. Absolute pleasure. And thank you 
for getting involved today and, and you know your comments are fantastic and you're interacting with each other which is absolutely brilliant you know I've always said that I want ABTV to be a safe haven for Aberdeen fans to come and express their thoughts and their opinions without the fear of getting called out getting slagged off getting called names all that kind of stuff and I'm I'm absolutely delightful delighted that it appears to be working so thank you I really do appreciate it uh, Scott Barone has said needs to be an overhaul of the board to the pitch. West Coast on Warnock for director of football. Uh, Craig94 has said a really strange decision. I really don't know if the board have a clue what they're doing. What do you think? Well, to be fair, and I'm going to play devil's advocate here, like they know that the next appointment has to be absolutely spot on because it's four managers in three years. You could now argue five managers in three years. Um, and they've got to get it right. Otherwise, fans will turn on them. There's absolutely no question that they will. And they, you know, what the, what they did... The principle of what they did by getting an interim manager in to give themselves time to find the right candidate, I can absolutely see why they did that and I completely understand why they did that. Um, again, there is the argument to say, you know, was it the right thing to do because do we need, did, did we need a manager that needed to come in immediately and assess the squad for a good two to three months so that he knows what he's going to need in the summer? But now, you know, we're left in a situation where uh, potentially the new manager is going to come in and he's going to get some time to look at the squad and to assess the squad and then take it forward. And I'm guessing that you'll have a lot of dialogue with Neil Warnock as well. So you could argue that even though... Let's look at the positives. So Neil, Neil Warnock has, has left. It's not a good look on the football club. Of course it isn't. But if the club say the process is nearly done and we get a new manager in soon, as in, say, the next seven to ten days, then that guy is going to get a period of time to have a decent look at our squad and our players. And he can use Neil Warnock um, as a buffer to talk about where he thinks we need an overhaul. So, to me, there's pros and cons to it. Derek Gibber said, whatever happens, we needed stability for the rest of the season and we haven't achieved this. West Coast Dawn said, unless we've really found our man, Warnock going now makes little sense. You know, an awful lot of people are asking, you know, what will Dave Cormack do next? Skuskar said, pundits on the radio are irrelevant, just filling time. Yeah, of course, but it's a radio program, you know that. Warnock doing the right thing for us, forcing a new guy in quick to see what is needed. Good man. Uh, that's, you know, yes, yes, I completely agree. Okay, let me see, just see if there's any more updates for you. Okay, so a couple of people have asked me about who I think should be the new Aberdeen manager. So, okay. So the first guy that I spoke about was Steve Cooper, the ex-Nottingham Forest manager, who I thought did a phenomenal job down there. Um, but again, I'm just not sure if we could afford his wages. Uh, and would he come to Scotland? I don't know. The other person I, you know, for me it was an obvious candidate, was Steve Clark. But again, he's got the Euros coming up in the summer. Um, and I can't see somebody like, I don't know, I could be completely wrong. Would Steve Clark come in for, say, two months before he takes Scotland to the Euros? Can you see that happening? I'm, I'm just not sure. Um, so that suggests to me that it won't be Steve Clark if the club are saying the new manager is imminent, you know, or that the talks are at an advanced stage. DM is asking, what is going on at our club? 
Graham Howitt said, Warnick was there to win a trophy, I thought. Possible that a falling out happened behind the scenes? Maybe, mate. Okay, Graham Duncan came in and said, manager announced on Monday. So have you seen that somewhere, Duncan? Do you know something we don't? Could you just um, elaborate for me, please? That'd be great. John Dorr would say, Graham Potter was always my idea, but again, cost of wages and interest uh, in coming to Scotland. Yeah. Gregor Reid said, we need to beat Dundee and Motherwell after today. Surely that would be better than a new manager who doesn't know the players. Uh, formation tactics that haven't worked. Kaiser has asked, I hope it's the boy fate Bodo glimped. Uh, Deck Mackey said, I just hope the board have a cunning plan all along. They gave themselves time using Warnick. No excuses. Next manager has to work. Okay, let me pop back. See if there's any updates. Uh, hang on a second, guys. Just let me open that up. Have a quick look. See. No, nothing yet. Okay, let me go back to the BBC site. See if there's any updates on there. Uh... So Neil Warnock lasted for 33 days, just over a month. <clears throat> okay, no updates there. Just let me go back to X and see if there's anything else on there in terms of if he's spoken to any specific journalists. So just bear with me while I look through it. Okay, so the ABZ Football Podcast guys have just tweeted Neil Warnock's AFC record. In all competitions, played eight, won two, drew two, lost four. Win percentage, 25%. In the league, played six, won zero, drew two, lost four. Win percentage, 0%, of course. Uh, thanks to the guys at ABZ Football Podcast for putting that out. Three excellent chaps. If you get a chance to listen to the podcast, I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic listen. The boys are always very passionate. Okay, let me come back. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of comments on Facebook. Dearie me. Oh my goodness. Right, just bear with me. I just want to have a... Have a quick look at something. Just bear with me. Okay. Right, guys, how long have we done? Okay, so we've done nearly 15 minutes. Uh, just let me open that up. So again, guys, just bear with me just while I sort all this out. This is a live show, so I'm just reacting as everything happens. Actually, that's interesting because the, the chat over on Facebook is that not, a lot, not many of you are surprised that Neil Warnock has stepped aside today. Again, a lot of you are, are saying at least he has told the club what is needed. A lot of you absolutely delighted with the way we performed today, particularly with the fight and the physicality in the game, which is great. A lot of you asking about Neil Lennon. So just to reiterate that point um, that was uh, put out earlier, Chris Harvey spoke to Alan Burrows, who said 100% uh, it is not Neil Lennon. Sorry, guys, again, just bear with me. I'm just going through it all just to see what the, you know, some of you are absolutely dumbfounded by what's going on. 
again, that just seems to be the, the general consensus that so many of you are just shocked, baffled, confused. Okay, let's get back to YouTube. SITV said, you should stay on until we announce the new manager. <laughs> Okay, so James and Grandad has said, spoke to a friend on Wednesday who works for the club. He said new manager was already identifying new players and the word going about was Steve Clark. Okay. Okay, Kaiser93 makes a very good point. He says, we want to... Okay, so he's, he's speaking in Doric. So let, 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 me, let, me, uh, let, me, let me go for it because I've not spoken Doric for a long, long time. We want to buy the wife a managers that connected to the Scottish merry-go-round pure plum min. <laughs> Brilliant. I agree. I, Kaiser, I'm completely with you. I, I said it on the big Saturday football show just before we came on air today that we should not... Keep looking to the Scottish Premiership to find our new manager. We have to think out of the box. We have to think bigger. I would absolutely be delighted to get somebody with any sort of European pedigree in. But I do want somebody within the coaching circles, the managerial circles, to be Scottish so that they understand the DNA of the game. West Coast Don has said Steve Clark would be brilliant for Aberdeen. Kevin Main has said massive league games coming up. I hope the board don't jeopardise results in these games with today's announcement as the championship is a real possibility at the moment and doesn't bear thinking about. John Dorward has said still think Steve Clark is on the list, can do full-time Aberdeen, Euros is a scouting trip. The musical box said, I think Steve Clark is pretty happy in his current job. Be great if it was him, but I don't see it. It's interesting, isn't it? Ewan Grant has said, am I daft for wanting Roy Keane as manager? SITV is just reiterating what I said. A foreign manager with a Scottish assistant. Chris Bruce said, uh, Neil Warnock said to the players that he'll come to the final. Okay. Bear with me. I'm just checking everything else for you to see if there's... Okay, so... So Neil Warnock's press conference has now just gone on uh, the website. So what I'll do is I'll read some quotes for you. Um... Okay, hang on. So what's he talking about here? Okay. Right, so he said, All along, I've said I was here to help and that I would give my advice. And my advice is that they should get the new manager in as soon as possible. It needs quite an overhaul, <clears throat> excuse me, of the squad in the summer. And it's no good waiting until then to get someone in. You need to give a manager the chance to look at it for a couple of months so he knows what needs doing over the summer. The recruitment needs to be spot on in the summer. So he was talking about today's game. He said, the lads know what they're doing now. They just need to believe in themselves. He said, this is a massive club. It shouldn't be floundering where we are, but the players have to take responsibility. But players, sorry. He says, but players have to take responsibility. They did that today. They set the standard and they have to stick with that. The fact is, the last few weeks, we've worked hard to lose games that we shouldn't have. We should have seven or nine points more.
Overall, though, it was a proper performance today, and I hope they'll keep to that standard now. I think they will. Okay. So that's what he's had to say in his post-match press conference today. Again, just looking through the lines to see if there's anything else in terms of what any journalists or anything have said. If there's any quotes that we've missed. It doesn't look like we have. No. Okay, let me get back to your... Uh, let me get back to your points. So let me drag that down. Okay, Vinny Keenan has said, providing we actually have a replacement in line to take over as of now, this is perfect timing. Give the new guy a few games to see what he has to work with and get a pre-season under their belts. Paul Wood has said, Steve Clark would be great, but I can't see him coming here with what's going on with Scotland. VK has said, I can't believe it. What a joke club. Vinnie Keenan went on to say, if we bring in yet another rookie, we'll be back here in a few months. A DM said, love your live shows, Ali. If it's Lennon, we have to get behind him. So just to, again, reiterate the point, DM, uh, that Chris Harvey from STV Sports spoke to Alan Burrows, who said it's 100% not Neil Lennon. Okay. Right, guys. Um, SITV actually makes a very interesting point. Jesse Marsh, the American, used to be the Leeds uh, manager. Uh, and Red Bull Salzburg manager, I think, uh, would be a Cormac kind of appointment. I would have no issues with that. Okay. Right, guys, I'm going to call it a day um, because we're just coming up to an hour. So, listen, thank you so much for coming on um, after obviously what's happened today and leaving all your comments and leaving your thoughts. Um, I've really enjoyed it. Obviously, it came as a big shock early. I didn't see it coming at all. I don't think any of us saw it coming. Um, so all we could do now is just see how the next few days pan out. Obviously, we play Dundee at Dens Park on Wednesday in what is a huge game for us. And then we've got Motherwell next Saturday. Um, so two very big games coming up. As it stands from now, Peter Levin is in charge of first team duties. So I have no doubt they'll be in tomorrow to do a bit of a warm down. And then I guess he'll start preparing the team for Wednesday. But a lot of people are talking about that the new manager will be announced on Monday. So I guess all we can do is just watch this space. Um, so I think what I'll probably do is I'll come back again tomorrow night so we can do a proper review of the game and just see if anything has moved on in the next 24 hours or so. So guys, thank you. Um, isn't it fantastic, by the way, to get our, um, you know, our first win under our belt since the Bonnie Rig game. We're into a semi-final. We're going to Hamden again. We've got a Scottish Cup semi-final to look to. And the boys played really well today. They showed fight. They showed determination. And it was just good to see. And how refreshing. And we can all go away and enjoy our Saturday night. My goodness, what a day. Guys, take care. Thank you so much for being with us. All the best.